I have my own nonprofit in LA also. And what I did out of that nonprofit, we took some of the kids and all the students there, and then I formed a group and signed a record deal with them to a major label. Um, and then I've done vocal training with a lot of a lot of different people. But basically, I use music to help. It, it's like that. It's, it's like a song that's on the album called "Some Bridges," and this guy Jackson Brown wrote wrote that song called "Some Bridges," and it's and he wrote that about me, saying like I'm a bridge to help these kids get to where they want to go, basically. And that's basically what I do. We take. I grew up in the hood, and just using music as a bait, as a tool, to expose them to. Not that I'm trying to make these kids stars. Um, if they got the talent to be that, then that's going to happen. But if you if you have a thousand people, two of them may have the talent to be that star. My program is for the 998 that don't. <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah. Because what you recognize is that this this singer needs a stylist, an accountant, background singers, engineer, lighting, attorney, agent, and most people think via video and these shows like Cribs and all that kind of mess when they need to have a show called Applications and Jobs but they got cribs, you know what I mean? And you just think you're gonna get that crib, you know what I mean? But they don't show them this process. So, the concept is, if I can expose people to career choices, because they think they wanna be this singer, they think they wanna be whatever, I mean, you just gotta be realistic. You know what I mean? Everybody is not gonna do that, but it's okay, keep on thinking that. And when you get here, then we're gonna find out what you're really good at. What, what you really can do. And you can still be around the music industry. But if, if anybody in this room think that you're gonna have 100 people in this room and all 100 of them wanna be, have a contract and that's gonna really happen, then we are gonna waste your time because it ain't true. You see, you see what I mean? I don't care, I tell the kids, I laugh at them. And it's like, I know your mama told you you can sing, but she like you. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mama tell you anything. Yeah, your mama, mama tell you she anything. She. So basically, we can expose them to um, and get their get their make them interested, get them interested in college and different things like that. That they and, and, and that's 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 the purpose of what I do. We have way more stories of kids that lived. That wouldn't live. It's way more them than the one we can say. Well, I work with this person, this person, this person. You can do that on this. But we literally had thousands of people to come through the classes. That now, you see what I'm saying? So that's really you want. That's that's my heart. In regards to writing, what tools would you say you would need other than just a dictionary and a quotation book? Experience. Other than that, what else could help you? <laughs> <laughs> so you have a struggling as a writer right now. Well, I mean, a dictionary <laughs> and experience and just, I mean, you got to look at, like, first of all, you got to write stuff that is coming from you. Just write. You know what I mean? I mean, I, understand, I think I understand where you're coming from, like, but it's, 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 it's experience, too. It's because if another person write another song about a bad relationship, I'm a croak. Hello. I'm so tired of, do anybody have good relationships? Does anybody deal with anything other than relationships in their life? Is there any other issue that's important to you? I think that you gotta look at society and see what's going on and what needs to be addressed. Maybe you come up with concepts and maybe you're, maybe you're not the one to know how to put them all together and this should be the verse and this should be the this. Maybe your stuff is, maybe your stuff is wordy or whatever and you just need somebody to uh, structure it. You know what I mean? And it doesn't take away from you being the writer. It's just that you will write with someone. And then as you continue this, you learn how. A lot of people don't know how to write. They don't know how to really put the course, where to put the course and you know, and really know how to drive home a point without me, you know what I mean? Right. But you may have the thought and the concept. Like I'm dealing with a concept right now because of, of experience that, that I've had, you know what I mean? I didn't feel like doing it. 
you know? So you just say, here, I get this concept for you. Boom, 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 boom. I actually have another question sort of like that. Um, first of all, as a, as a writer, is a big part of um, coming up with, with good things you can be proud of is getting over um, your own self-judgment of the things. Ooh. And also, um, second, <laughs> is there, um, does it help as a writer to get away from the pen and paper or the keyboard or whatever you're doing and like pick up an instrument and just start singing or and like record it and maybe something will come out yes that you wouldn't have thought of if yes. you were just sitting there yes both of those things what you just said are very important because how many times have we written the same song and maybe took a kept some time like take a year to finish just to arrive back at the first thing that you started <laughs> Why? Because you just critique yourself and judge yourself the whole time. Mm -hmm. This ain't good enough. This ain't this. Da da da. You do it differently, and then you end up back right back in like bam. That's that was it. And it, it, in a year didn't pass, and you just now finish it. You know what I mean? So that is important. You you can't forever critique yourself. Right. You know what I mean? But it comes with also with the experience of continue to write and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then another thing, like you said, just get there and start, you know, messing around with stuff and come up with melodies and stuff. Like you definitely, you know, and use different sounds. Like I found out when I'm when I'm playing sounds, a piano sound, I think a certain way. When I'm playing a clavy sound, I think a certain way. When I play a guitar sound, I think a certain way. It you know, the music talks to me. It kinda tells you what to say. What about like songwriting if you're a songwriter mm -hmm. and getting your songs out there, what kind of advice could you give as far as Well Again, a lot of major artists don't want to have nothing to do with the record labels anymore. Okay. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. You know, that's where times, I mean, the record, the record companies are, are um, striking deal with the piracy companies now. Oh. <laughs> that's, how, that's how much they're not selling any records. You understand what I mean? The key thing about songwriting and getting your songs out First of all, write good songs mm -hmm. and get good people to sing them. And you may, or do you sing? Yes. Okay. You may write a song that you sound horrible on. Mm -hmm. That's not good for you. That will be better for somebody Some else. Yeah. You know, you gotta have be egoless enough to say, you know what? You really sound better on this song. And this is my favorite song. I want to sing it, but you sound better on it. The key is being able to get rid of your ego enough to know how to get the best out of your song. And it may not be you to sing it that, you know, that, that does it. Yeah. And then again, definitely submit, you can definitely submit your stuff to artists. You find out when they're, they're you know, it's easy to find out when, when artists are preparing for a new album. Mm -hmm. uh, Again, the networking thing and making sure when you send it, it's not going into a big trash can about this big is important. Um, that somebody will actually listen to it. That that relationships again is important are important are important. But then you can also, I mean, like I was just been sharing with people today. You know what the what the new place is to to find new music is YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's the easiest way to to find the artist and the record companies and the artists to get buzz about their music is putting it on YouTube. They just place a picture right there and place the music. And I mean, if the, if the record labels are using YouTube, then why can't you? I, I hear you saying that you have to kind of be humble to the industry and not mm -hmm. you know, make waves, but that's what you hear, that's what you see on TV. Those are the people who are making mm -hmm. the biggest amount of money, Beyonce, Christina Aguilera. Well, I didn't say you'd be people. humble on stage. Okay. I was talking about your interaction we with people. Humble in your network. Oh, you okay. got to be straight be cocky. Yeah, yeah, oh, you got to be. You got to be straight. <laughs> no, you got to be straight. Oh, you got to get bougie with it. I mean, you got to be <laughs> like it ain't even confident. You got to go past confident on that stage. 